Welcome to Applied Food Science and Engineering with Prof. Vigent. Hello, everyone. It's my birthday. So today, we're going to answer a very important culinary science question. How do we know if something that we are eating is a cake? Or is this food that you're having more accurately described as bread? That's right, it's time for that food science battle royale. Is this bread or is this cake? Let's start by examining a few things that I think we can all agree are either cake or bread. What do we see in this highly scientific cross section of a chocolate cupcake? We see a relatively fine texture, an almost entirely even crumb structure, and we can't see, but we can taste that it's sweet. Now let's examine this baguette, which is an archetypal version of bread. One notable difference is the crust, a coarser crumb structure, and a texture that may be uneven. You can have a more even crumb structure in a bread, though. It's also not really super sweet when you taste it. Let's break this down by looking at the three main ingredients in any cake or bread, sugar, fat, and flour. Here are the mass fractions of sugar, fat, and flour in a series of common cake recipes. Notice anything? We see that most cakes hover around a pretty even distribution of these three components. For example, pound cake, having a pound of flour, butter, and sugar, should be just about exactly a third all the way across, unless you mess with the recipe. Our outliers are flourless chocolate cake and angel food cake, which have no flour and no fat, respectively. Turning now to breads, we see the main thing they have in common is a lot less sugar and a heck of a lot more flour. The least floury, with just a shade over 40% flour, is banana bread. Hovering in the back is roux, which isn't actually a bread, but I put it on here just for comparison purposes since it contains the same set of ingredients. Looking at this all together, anything with a flour percentage up here is clearly in the bread zone, while flour percentages under 40 seem to be in the cake zone. Zooming in for a second, do you see that bright yellow and that lime green line that are so, so, so close to each other? The yellow line is banana bread, while the lime green line is banana cake, which makes 40% flour by mass our dividing line. By the way, brioche, which is what Marie Antoinette actually said the peasants ought to eat instead of bread, is 100% bread according to this analysis. Scientifically, it looks like when flour is over half of what's there, its proteins are able to form the structure that everything else fits into. Down under 40%, though, the flour protein isn't prevalent enough to carry the structure. That must be done by gelatinized starch, or egg protein, or a combination thereof. And in the middle, right around 40%, we're in that liminal space where cake and bread can both kind of happen. So on your birthday, enjoy cake! and also pancakes, which are a bread. Thanks for watching.